We went out on a little adventure today just for Valentine's Day. We were gonna go pick up some stuff and get our presents and stuff and we decided we wanted to go to this reptarium that's here in Lincoln in Nebraska and just to look around and see what they have because I saw some stuff on their Facebook page that had a lot of different cool stuff that I could get for Spyro which you all know about by now I'm sure and we both, <laughs> both of our jaws hit the floor when we walked in there because there's so many animals, not just stuff for the animals, but so many animals and they breed them here. They don't do imports, you know, they want to keep everything clean, which is awesome. And they have bugs and decorations and everything else and... It's quite the little emporium. Yeah, and my sweet, sweet Casey here. We were just looking at the animals, we were looking at the pythons, and we saw some crusties and some leos and some beardies, and we look up, he looks up, and there's a frilled dragon! And that is like my holy grail, my ultimate, like that is what I want. I want a frilled dragon so bad, and I have got, I got my dragon off Morph Market, and he was reasonably priced, but the cheapest I've seen on there is 900 for frilled dragons. But the price of this guy, $250. And it's a baby. So, we're gonna go get him. We didn't get much footage because we were just so shocked and overly excited. This wasn't supposed to happen, but we were in the right place at the right time. So we hope that you understand, but there's gonna be an abundance of time to get footage of this little one growing up which I fully intend to bring you along for the journey. I started with some cocoa fiber bedding by Thrive. It comes in a dense brick, so you'll want to dampen it to get it apart. Then I took some of the substrate that they provided at AJ's and spread it over top. Both substrates are good for holding in humidity, which is what the frilly needs. Next you see me spraying the substrate. This is to get that moisture before we get everything else in. For decoration, I'm starting with his basking spot. I put in this fish accessory at first, but it heated up way too much. By the end, you'll see the small cork round that I put in in its place. Moving on. I have this fern vine that I thought would not only add some color, but some great climbing opportunities while he's still little, which is something that they absolutely love to do because they're arboreal. It's also nice because he's able to use it to hide and sleep. I only have two suction cups, but we're innovative around here so I grabbed his original basking stick to help secure the vine. Plus, this gives him even more room to climb. Gotta have rocks. I believe this one was from South Dakota. I found that I like the more natural feel and look for my artificial setups, ironically enough. Next, I'm putting in this neat, bendable moss bridge. I grabbed it with the hopes that it would help with humidity as well as adding more room to climb for my sweet boy. As you can see, I played around with the cork, 
but wasn't going to put it in. This is what ended up replacing the fish decoration from the beginning. Now for some pretty foliage, which AJ's Reptarium kindly provided. This was due to the reason that I was so excited for this lizard. I, this is my dream dragon, my dream lizard, and so they not only gave me the basics for the setup, but they also gave me a little extra, which was really sweet. Last but not least, his little water dish. Time to see the finished product. Now for the time you've all been waiting for, the name reveal. Everyone say a big hello to Spirospace's newest member, Eden. If you know me, my biggest personality trait is my obsession with Breaking Benjamin. I made mention that the baby was gray, like Ashes, and they happen to have a song called Ashes of Eden. And so Eden was born. Hey guys, so this is gonna be me kind of talking about little Eden here my frilled dragon or Clemlitosaurus kini is their scientific name. He was, after Spyro, my dream dragon that I wanted. Um, a little frilled neck lizard. You can kind of see his little frills right here. He's not too spicy today, so he's probably not going to show you too much, but this is my new little baby and I'm absolutely falling in love with him. His personality is great. He's calmed down quite a bit since we brought him home on the 31st. Which, surprise, we already knew that we had him. <laughs> but now you guys know too. So we're going to get lots and lots of fun footage of this little guy as he grows up and do even more research because these guys are a little bit different than the bearded dragons even. So. We'll get some information out there for you guys as well, and find some more stuff for ourselves. So like and subscribe to keep up with Eden's adventures and to see what the channel has in store. Thanks guys! It wouldn't be a Spirospace video without the star himself. What are your thoughts on the baby? <laughs>